Hi everyone, this is April Ayaset Tisinambe and I'm going to discuss and show you different exercises in different planes of motion. There are three different planes of motion, the sagittal, the frontal, and the transverse plane. In sagittal plane, the body is cut into left and right halves and it has a forward and backward movement. Example of a sagittal exercise is the front lunges. The lunges is a resistance exercise that you can use to help strengthen your lower body, including your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. This can also help you develop lower body strength and endurance. To correctly do a lunge, start by standing up tall, then step forward with one foot until your leg reaches a 90 degree angle. Your rear knee should remain parallel to the ground and your front knee shouldn't go beyond your toes. Lift your front lunging leg to return to the starting position. Repeat 10 to 12 reps on one leg or switch off between legs until you've reached the total of 10 to 12 reps per leg. Common mistakes in doing lunges Don't put your front foot directly in line with your back foot. Start with hip feet apart and maintain the gap as you step. When it comes to lunging, you need to step forward enough so that your front heel won't pop off the floor. You need to take a larger step, plant your heel and drive it into the floor to return to the starting position. Avoid bending at the hip and letting your upper body drop as this will put added strain in your knee. Pull your belly button towards your spine and keep your eyes forward instead of looking down. In frontal plane, the body is cut into front and back halves and it has a side to side movement. Example of a frontal exercise is the lateral lunge or side lunges. Lunges in practice from different angles are also a functional movement. Functional movement can help you work muscles in ways that benefit your everyday movement. For example, side lunges can help strengthen the muscles of your body that you use to move and change direction. In addition to working your glutes, hamstrings, and quads, a side or lateral lunge also works your inner thigh muscles. To do a side lunge, start by standing tall, feet hip width distance apart, take a wide step out to the left. Bend your left knee as you push your hips back. Keep both feet flat on the floor throughout the lunge. Push off with your left leg to return to standing. Perform 10 to 12 lunges with each leg. In the transverse plane, the body is cut into top and bottom halves and it has a twisting movement. Example of a transverse exercise is the Russian twist. The Russian twist is an effective way to build your core and shoulders. This is a popular exercise among athletes since it helps with rotational movements, which happens often in sports. The Russian twist may seem a simple movement but it requires a lot of strength and support. For beginners, when doing a Russian twist, press your feet into the floor. Break steadily and deeply. As you twist, keep your arms parallel to the floor and reach down to tap the floor beside you. You can also lift your feet from the floor keeping your knees bent. Elongate and strengthen your spine at 45 degree angle from the floor, creating a V-shape with your torso and thighs. Use your abdominals to twist to the right then back to the center and then to the left. 